Is it possible to kill the creeper? Is he immortal? And what are his weaknesses? Today we are initiating each one of you as a member of the Creeper Hunters team. Let's begin this investigation and calculate our chances of killing a monster. Now, there have been so many good ideas about how to kill the creeper. Wrapping him in chains and putting him under water. Putting him in a chest and binding that with chains. Dismembering the creeper and separating his parts across different continents and even sending him into space. And yet the question remains, are these really solid ways to destroy such an enigmatic ancient creature? We have to start with the question, can the creeper be killed? The answer is yes, 100% yes. How do we know? The creeper hunters found out exactly what it was, and yet they still continued to pursue and try to kill it. If it wasn't possible, they would have given up. There would be no point to pursue a dangerous creature that can't be destroyed. Yet we, the Jeepers Creepers fans, aren't told what his vulnerabilities are. So today we are going to go over what we do know and see if we can start to figure out definitively how to kill a creeper. Before we go on this journey, let's look at the things we do know about the creeper. This is important because it will help us figure out how to kill it. The first piece of information about the creeper is that it is ancient. Now what relevance does this have in our journey? It means that it is very difficult to kill. We have to imagine that down through history, like Galen and Teshtego, Many have discovered what the creeper was, but they were still unable to destroy it. So we know whatever the path is to killing the creeper, it isn't an easy one. Additionally, when Tubbs says, be straight with me, can we kill this thing? Tashtego answers him by asking if he is still a sharpshooter. We find this to be very interesting and it may present a clue as to how to kill the creeper. But most importantly, notice that Tashtego does not say no. The second thing we know about the creeper is that it has been damaged very badly in the past, but yet it has not died. As a matter of fact, the creeper rushes headlong into danger, jumping over moving cars, running in front of semi-trucks, and flying into a barrage of bullets, just to name a few. This brings forth questions. If the creeper is so intent on taking his adversaries head on, does this mean it is confident that it won't be permanently damaged? If the creeper were to die, could it still regenerate? Let's look at some of the creeper's vulnerabilities. Let's begin by looking at vulnerabilities, which are in fact not weaknesses. It has been said that its heart is a vulnerability, but there's just simply no evidence of this in the story. As a matter of fact, Giselle comments that she thinks it's eaten too many hearts to ever stop. This statement seems to reveal that the creeper's heart is not a weakness, but rather a strength. So whoever came up with the idea that the creeper's heart is a vulnerability, you lose. The creeper must eat to regenerate. Some fans have suggested that the creeper might be destroyed by preventing it from eating. But we know the creeper is unable to eat for 23 year time periods, and at the end of those 23 years it still emerges and it is strong enough to hunt. So the creeper can exist for long periods of time without feeding, not a weakness. Now it is a widely accepted belief that the creeper hibernates for 23 year time periods. So the thought is the creeper could be killed while it is incapacitated and helpless hanging on a barn wall. But why is this belief so prevalent? There really isn't any evidence of this in the story. That's just what they want you to believe. We do see the creeper's body displayed on the Taggart's barn wall, but this is just a dried up husk of a once vicious monster. A dead body, they ran out of time. The story never tells us that the creeper hibernates. It merely says that he runs out of time to feed. Mingxi also gives us the information that it must return to the earth, back into the ground for 23 more years, and hanging on a barn wall is not considered returning back to the earth. Also notice that Galen and Teshtego know what it is, yet they proceed to try to kill it. 
They don't suggest waiting out its 23 days and then killing it once it's dormant. We believe this tells us it does not lie dormant for 23 years. Rather, it is not allowed to be out among us and is not able to feed. It is still somewhere and it's still very vicious. But the creeper does have vulnerabilities. Weapons do seem to hurt it, and they even incapacitate the creature for short periods of time. This immobilization could allow for a greater, more coordinated attack on the creeper while it is inactive. This is a vulnerability. Second, the creeper uses a very head-on approach in the pursuit of its victim. It seems to have a very reckless nature to its attack. This allows for the possibility of incapacitating the creeper for a short time if the right weapons are used against it. This is a vulnerability. Third, the creeper is very predictable in its pursuit. It will not delay or stop an attack if a victim has something that it wants. It is relentless in its pursuit, and this makes its behavior very predictable. This is a vulnerability. The creeper can be distracted. We see the creeper begin to attack Sergeant Tubbs when it is successfully distracted by Tashtago and is taunting. This means the creeper could possibly be lured into a trap. This is a vulnerability. Lastly, the creeper is in a hurry, but sometimes it hesitates before it takes a victim. We see the creeper taking time to listen to Trish as she pleads with it to take her instead of her brother. We see him wait momentarily outside of Buddy's truck while he gathers information about Addison. It is also very patient while Trish and Derry try to run it over with their car. This is a vulnerability. So armed with this information, how can the creeper be destroyed? As we look at some possibilities, remember none of us know for sure. Only the writer-director knows its true weakness. There is no wrong answer other than violating the basic fundamental rules and outlines which we have defined. As always, we turn this question over to you, our Jeepers Creepers family. What are your thoughts on how to kill the creeper? Keep in mind that as you contemplate solutions, it won't be easy. If it was, it wouldn't have lived for thousands of years. Now we have our own ideas about how to kill the creeper, but we want to hear from you first. Leave us your creative solutions on how to kill the creeper in the comments below, and we may choose one or more of them to be highlighted on this channel. As this channel grows, we're getting hundreds of comments, so don't be disappointed if your idea isn't used. Be kind to each other and respect all possibilities. Keep an open mind, think outside the box, and see what possibilities you all can come up with. We will follow up with a video on potentially successful ways to kill the creeper and many reasons why certain ideas would probably fail. Okay, creeper hunters, we can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Until next time, we'll see you.